the, um... Well, I gotta tell you something. I, uh, just our personal note, I had a, I had quite a weekend in Florida. We were down at Mar-a-Lago for the wedding. Uh, were you invited to the wedding, Tiffany Trump? No, Jimmy, I... Oh, uh, boy, we love Tiff. Um, and that, everything was absolutely first class. Jimmy John's did the catering. Um, <laughs> there was a ketchup fountain, which I've not seen. Eric was the ring bearer. Don Jr. gave the worst man speech. It was beautiful. Everything was perfect. It was sweet, too. Before the father-daughter danced, uh, Donald Trump went up to every woman at the wedding and said, um, are you Tiffany? <laughs> it was really... Once he found her, uh, he walked Tiffany down the aisle slash bouncy castle. Um, that's what's known as understated elegance right there. And then he gave a beautiful toast. I have to admit, when he got to the part where he uh, talked about Hillary's emails, I teared up. I got emotional. <laughs> the best part was I got to spend time with the whole clan. And he could say, there we are, just such good people. <laughs> and salt of the earth. Trump, you can see, was all dolled up. He uh, is either... <laughs> Either his hair is getting whiter or his skin is getting oranger. I don't know, but he looks like a creamsicle now. His color balance is off. I got to hang with the juniors, DJ TJ and Gilfy. They know how to party. Uh, everybody put politics aside. This, this was about showing up for Tiff. And then this was fun. During the cocktail hour, I snuck down to the storage room at mar lago and read some very interesting things about Iran's nuclear program. It's just... <laughs> Trump, um... You know, you see Donald Trump in these photos with these uh, dignitaries, et cetera, and he's always giving the thumbs up, but he's now also giving it for personal events. Here he is uh, giving a thumb up <laughs> with the bride. Here he is with uh, Tiffany and his son, Baron. Uh, now the uh, happy couple and uh, Melania, uh, again with the thumbs up. Here now with the two ex-wives, thumbs up. He's like Borat and Fonzie now. He's just got the thumb up at all times. After the wedding, this is a fun bit of malice intrigue. Ivanka, who is the daughter, not the ex-wife who's buried in the golf course. Ivanka <laughs> posted a photo on Instagram that had Don Jr.'s uh, fiance, Kimberly, cropped out. Kimberly Guilfoyle was cut out of the post. How horrible do you have to be to get cut out of a Trump family photo? <laughs> the dresses were very Mar-a-Lago. Lara Trump's had... Uh, wings so she could fly back to her home planet. Uh, Kimberly Guilfoyle was uh, dressed as both the cracker and the barrel. And Ivanka wore heels so high you could hang Mike Pence from them. It's... Sadly, we had to wrap it up at about 4 p.m. because Trump rented the ballroom for an insurance conference. But it was fun, a lot of fun while it lasted. This, to me, sums Trump's weekend up pretty well. First, uh, he posts, my wonderful daughter Tiffany will be getting married today at Mar-a-Lago. She and Michael are a beautiful couple who will be very happy together. A big thank you and congratulations to Tiffany's mother, Marla, on the bringing up of a really great daughter. The one time he doesn't take credit for something, it's Tiffany, okay? <laughs> then an hour, and within an hour's time, he writes, uh, idiot and possibly corrupt officials have lost control of the tainted election in Arizona. Machines broken in Republican areas. A new election must be called for immediately. <laughs> now back to the Macarena, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> it was an emotional... It was an emotional weekend for Trump because he gave away a daughter and the Senate on the same <laughs> night on Saturday night. Democrats officially won the Senate. Catherine Cortez Masto won re-election in Nevada. Her victory gives the Democrats 50 seats. And uh, Vice President Kamala Harris has the tie-breaking vote. Should it be needed, give, it gives them the majority. It also gives her something to do, which is good. <laughs> Many of the candidates Trump endorsed wound up losing. Uh, everything Trump touches dies. This is, which explains why Melania will live forever, okay? <laughs> Trump, of course, is uh, screaming that the election was rigged, especially in Phoenix, he wrote. So in Maricopa County, they're at it again. Voting machines in large numbers didn't work. Blah, 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 blah. They stole the electron from Blake Masters. <laughs> the, uh, oh, no. <laughs> Blake Masters' electron has been stolen. <laughs> we don't protect his proton. His neutron will be next. <laughs> Stealing the electron from Blake Masters sounds like the plot of the next Avengers movie. But... <laughs> 
There's still one Senate seat up for grabs uh, in Georgia, where Herschel Walker and Raphael Warnock are headed to a runoff. They've already started the fundraising. Republicans are going to great lengths to get Herschel Walker across the goal line, and none more so than South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham, who gets downright emotional whenever he talks about his sweet little Hershey's kisses. Herschel Walker is a nightmare for liberals. He's an African-American conservative. They have belittled him. They have treated him like crap. His family stand by Herschel tonight. If you can give, give. Now look at what you did, America. You made that sweet old woman cry. <laughs> I hope you're proud of yourself. And, uh, <laughs> and Lindsey Graham, he is something else. I wonder if he'll be in Florida tomorrow night. You know, Trump has announced that he's going to announce that he's running for president tomorrow. Uh, not too many of his fellow Republicans seem that jazzed about it. They tried to get him to delay the announcement. He said no. Many of them blame Trump for what happened in the midterms and see him as a liability going forward. But, you know, we've heard this before. The question now is, are Republicans finally ready to break away from Donald Trump for good? And if they are, there's help. Do you have a Donald Trump problem? The Republicans haven't resolved their Trump problem. I think Donald Trump gives us problems. That you just can't seem to shake. We're still seeing a Republican Party, though, that can't quit Donald Trump. You wish it would go away. The short <laughs> message to Donald Trump, go away. But when you try to quit... Count me out. Enough is enough. It never seems to last. Can we move forward uh, without President Trump? The answer is no. Now there's help. Introducing Nicodump DT, the transdermal patch specifically formulated to help manage addiction to Donald Trump. The patch goes to work fast, releasing a patented blend of lithium, fried chicken, and libtard tears to help curb your appetite for Trump and start living life again. Ask your doctor if you believe in doctors about Nicodump DT. It's time to move on. It's time for Nicodump DT. From the makers of Ronda Chantix. So tomorrow, not only is Trump announcing tomorrow, tomorrow also happens to be the launch date for former Vice President Mike Pence's new memoir. Earlier tonight, ABC scored an exclusive hour-long interview with Mike Pence. Take that, Monday Night Football. We, um, it was two hours of Bachelor in Paradise and then an hour of Mike Pence. It's like herpes in the hot tub and then bleaching it out. Uh, Mike Pence sat with David Muir of ABC News, who asked him about one of Trump's most inflammatory tweets on January 6th. You remember Pence was in hiding uh, with his family. Watch the body language here, because there is something churning inside Mike Pence that might possibly require an exorcist. 2.24 p.m., the president tweets, Mike Pence didn't have the courage to do what should have been done. It angered me. <laughs> but I turned to my daughter, who was standing nearby, and I said, it doesn't take courage to break the law. It takes courage to uphold the law. This is what he says to his daughter. You know what I would have said to my daughter at that moment? Run! Hillbillies with horns want to kill daddy. Run out of this place. <laughs> but he's only... Only Mike Pence could take a story where he almost got hung by a mob of insurrectionists and make it read like a dishwasher instruction manual. <laughs> Pence also shared an excerpt from his book that details the moment Trump encouraged him to break the law. President Trump retweeted an obscure article titled Operation Pence Card. It alluded to the theory that I could alter the outcome of the election on January 6th. I showed it to Karen, my wife, and rolled my eyes. Mother admonished me for being discourteous, and she was right to do so. Mother abhorred crude facial expressions. I took no supper and spent the rest of the evening facing the wall in the mudroom like a very bad boy. Anyone else turned on right now? It's... <laughs> President Biden is in Bali uh, at the G20 summit. Uh, Graham POTUS today met with Chinese President Xi for the first time since he took office. Pretty clear Biden was excited for the meeting because, uh, see, she's standing here waiting for him, came in pretty hot and just... <laughs> you know, 
It's a long flight he had to pee, okay? <laughs> Meanwhile, Jeff Bezos, you know the bald guy with the cowboy hat we buy our fiber gummies from? <laughs> Jeff Bezos said that over the weekend, he said he will give most of his $120 billion fortune to charity. And uh, the rest will go to season two of that Lord of the Rings show. This is, this is a nice change of pace. You know, usually when a billionaire wants to give away all his money, he has to buy Twitter or go on an anti-Semitic rant to do it. But this is a... Bezos said he plans to use his fortune to fight climate change and support people who can, quote, unify humanity. I guess once you rocket it into the stratosphere in a giant space penis, there's nothing left to buy anyway. Speaking of big bucks, we have a new number one movie in the United States, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. this weekend. And whenever a new movie enters the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe, we ask our in-house movie critic, his name is Yaya, to review it as only he can. So here he is, Yaya, talking about the movie Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Hi, uh, action. It's me, Yaya. I talk about the new movie now, Black Panther, behind me. <laughs> the first Black Panther, Kenny Boss Summon. God bless him in the end. That Black Panther number two. The Black Panther is all action, you know? It's action in the ocean now. It's not the fish guy with the long hair. He's brand new fish guy, you know? And you have very good time under the ocean. I love Scooby Diver, I love the ocean. It's a good movie, like a Marvel movie, like the new Captain America, and also like uh, the hero the guy look like the cow. The other lady, the queen, her name, Angeli uh, Basinti. And she's in the old movie, Stella, go to the island. She have sex with everyone. The other young lady, Labita Nonji. Okay, like African name. She's in the movie, uh, the people like murder. The other star in the movie, the bald lady, Dina Caribbean. She's in uh, Osho, long time. The people come, eat your brain. I want to eat your bread. Can I have it? Uh... Show them who we are. Go see the movie. It's a good movie. Uganda forever. <laughs> That's, it. That's it. Thank you so much, Yaya, wherever you may be. Ta -da -da.